Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, so uh, today we're gonna do the check the battery, the hybrid battery uh, blocks on this uh, 2012 Lexus uh, CT uh, 200H. Uh, last time I did it with my uh, previous second generation, so hopefully this is gonna work. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take this one out. This one is the OBD2 uh, scanner. It's a Wi-Fi uh, version, okay? And you need to download the Torque Pro uh, version. If you use the light uh, edition, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna plug this one in. All right, so I gotta connect, find the OBD2 connector. Oh, right here. Yeah, can you hear it? Dude, why is it opposite? Dude. Oh, my gosh. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna open my uh, torque. Uh, just uh, put on ACC. You press the button right there. Press the power ACC one time. By the way, you need to turn on the music or what? Turn it off. Uh, go to uh, setting first. And then uh, make sure you click on the OBD2 uh, adapter setting. And make sure it is on the Wi Fi not the Bluetooth one, okay? And then now you're gonna go to your uh, setting under your smartphone. Oops. And then you're gonna click on the Wi-Fi connection right here. Be sure not to connect into your home Wi-Fi. Click on Wi-Fi. You see the Wi-Fi OBD2 right here? You gotta click on that one to connect. Now you're gonna go to the app. Go back. Uh, keep Wi-Fi. Let's see, go to a setting. I'm gonna click, click on the manage extra PID uh, sensor right here. And then we'll go on to the top, click on this three dot, add the predefined set. Now we're gonna select the Prius. Generation, third generation, it's so a 2010 plus. And this is all the blocks, all, all the sensor that you could uh, test it out. I'm gonna go back to the page. Click on this uh, real time. I'm gonna add one of those sensor, press and hold. Then I add display. I use the half uh, dial. Let's see, uh, meter or need needle is fine. And then we're gonna choose a. Uh, The hybrid ba uh, battery block from uh, 1 to 14. Yeah. So, right here, mm. you see all those blocks? Yeah. From 0, 1 all the way down to 14. I'm gonna do it one by one though. So, we're gonna add a tiny one. Then drag it to wherever you want. Uh, 
let me make sure the thing is connected. Do you uh, press the power one more time? Oh, there you go. 16.4 volt. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. Let me go to the main thing again. So if I press in on the gas, it's gonna rev the engine. There you go. All right, so let's go back to the real-time information and ammo dial. So we're gonna click on it and hold down. Add display. Add the half dial meter. Again, we're gonna scroll down. Oh shoot, wait. You can check all your temperature here, just ambient temperature and stuff like that. Even your 12 volt auxiliary batteries to see if it's good or not. Oh, wow. mm. oh yeah, right here. This is it number two? Can you well, select more than one? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Oops. <laughs> we can just uh, view the battery then. Here, let's just go that way. Well, anyway, that's how you add it. We're just gonna go ahead and just uh, monitor all the batteries, see if it's good or not. Yeah, your water keeps dripping in. Yeah. You check out the vo voltage. So you got the black one right there. 16.31 is going down, 6.28, jumping up and down. Block two, block three, block four. Five, oh, block six is kind of low, 16.18. Not that by, not by much, it's, it's up and down. So each block is considered of uh, what? two cells, individual cell. So I got 28 uh, cells in there. Uh, see V12 block uh, voltage on V12, 16.16. .16. Block six is sixteen point eleven and fourteen. That's the lowest one that I've seen. So right here it shows the uh, maximum uh, voltage is at sixteen point two three. Wow, the lowest is like sixteen point zero nine. I saw it. So the auxiliary battery is good. It's at 14.43 or 41, jumping up and down. Just okay. When I step on the compressor engine, it kick in, it's a 16.0 something. Well, wow, this one is a 15.96, the number eight. Converter temperature, lower and upper.
My battery's still good? Or no? Uh, 610 and above should be good, yeah. Because yeah, each, each, each cell should be around 7 point something volt. According to the technician, it's supposed to be a 15.5 volt and above for each block, and showing the 15.3, 15.21, So yeah, the battery is uh, pretty low on this thing. So, and the guy says uh, it's supposed to be a 10 year uh, warranty. So the client is calling the dealer right now, try to make an appointment, see if he could get a replacement battery. All right, the voltage uh, keep on dropping when his uh, car is uh, still on, but in uh, idle position. But uh, yeah, according to the technician, it's supposed to be fifteen point five volt, but it's dropping, and then the customer is not getting the mileage. In the the mileage uh, drop on the range or the average. I'm gonna let the car park for a while and come out there and check it to ensure. Alright, we parked the car for a while and then we just start the engine, but the voltage is uh, showing a 17.4 A, 17.5 volt. So it seems like the battery is, why well, is uh, the, the ice engines uh, kick in to charge it right now? Maybe that's why. You can hear the engines pretty loud. Now it just uh, shut off. Well, anyway, that's how you test your battery and auxiliary battery uh, on this uh, 2012 Lexus uh, CT200H. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.